What's up, Cancer? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of January. This is for my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It really helps out my channel. If you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer one on one readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. There does tend to be a bit of a wait for a reading with me. So if you would ever like to explore your options, I've put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well, which is a great company that will offer you access to lots of brilliant psychics and readers located all over the world. And if you go through the link I've provided, they're going to give you your first five minute reading free. So check them out if you feel called to do so. And otherwise, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I've put the links to those in the description box as well. Um, now guys, I'm going to do a reading on the person on your mind. How do they feel about you? How do you feel about them? And then the projected outcome for the second half of January. Bearing in mind guys that outcomes can and do shift depending on our actions, inactions, our reactions, our underlying assumptions, our self-concept, our beliefs. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go look into the law of assumption. This is one specific timeline and um, the energy reading for that timeline. Um, and people essentially are um, your manifestation. So uh, if you find that anything's unfavorable and you would like to shift it, it's absolutely shiftable. Um, so go and have a look into the LOA um, if you want to know a bit more about what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, spirit, the person on cancer's mind, how are they feeling about cancer? I just saw the high priestess. Maybe you are in silence with this person, cancer. Um, how is this person feeling about cancer now as we move through the second half of January? I think that this person's hoping for a, a shift though, because I just saw the, um, the wheel of fortune cancer. Let's have a look. Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, Strength card. Okay, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So there's definitely um, like a lack of communication here, Cancer, between you and this person or a lack of forward movement. Lack of forward movement. The Knight of Wands is in the reverse. I'm seeing that there's been like separation or heartache between you and this person. Um, could be that, you know, this is really weighing on this person, Cancer. I mean, with the Strength card, I also feel like there's been maybe a lack of courage um, to move ahead or this person is feeling like um, maybe they're waiting on you to communicate cancer. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to see how you're feeling about them. We've got the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So this could have been a bit stop start um, for a while or in and out, but this is looking like it's for now as we move into um, the second half of January, maybe it's at a stop, okay? I'm gonna get a little bit more on what's gonna happen, but yeah, the Three of Swords is like separation, it's also heartache, so yeah, and then there's the full card. I mean, some of you are dealing with a person that lives at a distance from you, Cancer. Um, this also could tell me that someone's lacking the strength to sort of maybe take the leap. Maybe this person's waiting for you to take some kind of a leap to communicate with them, maybe they're not, feeling very um, courageous to take the leap towards you. Let's have a look, Knight of Pentacles. So they are taking their time um, to come forward. Knight of Pentacles, this could be someone that you've been um, connected to for a while, Cancer. There's that High Priestess card. I think I saw that while I was shuffling. So this is sort of that energy of silence. Um, it's also a bit like the unknown. So possible this person doesn't kind of know where you're at. They're a bit blind to that. So, you know, um, maybe, yes, you've stopped contact with this person and there's a sense of, some, you know, not everything is revealed. You could feel like you have a very intuitive bond though with this person. I mean, this is like telepathy and whatnot with the high priestess. Um, Pisces energy, Aquarius energy with the full and um, Leo energy with the strength card. Temperance is in the reverse. Okay, so Cancer, for some of you, you've had some kind of um, a separation with this person because, I mean, temperance is timing, but, you know, in the reverse, I'm feeling like maybe there's been some kind of a, it could have been an ego clash or something between you and this person. Temperance card in the reverse can be when we overreact or something like that. So something may have happened between you and this person where, um, you know, there was a, a temp uh, that, you know, something needed to be tempered <laughs> um, and it's feeling very stuck to a source. There could be also issues here in terms of separation, something to do with timing. Maybe the timing when you came together, something has been off um, and now there's silence. I'm just feeling like something might have happened. Maybe there's a need to heal something between you and this person, Cancer. This is how they're feeling, okay? They're blind as to where you're at. 
the two of swords is here um there's also something here maybe about needing to feeling indecisive or maybe they felt like you were indecisive about them or they're having trouble like they need to make some kind of a decision um on how to move ahead or maybe they are in something else cancer i mean let me have a look at that two of swords ten of pentacles is in the reverse knight of cups is in the reverse i mean cancer knight of cups in the reverse it's like often knight of cups in the reverse to me is is feeling like an offer wasn't very sincere so there could be some trust issues between you and this person um and there's a stuckness cancer. I mean, 10 of pentacles in the upright would be about building the future together, but it's in the reverse. So this person's just blind as to how that would happen. Um, but then on the other hand, the knight of pentacles is like the slow and steady mover towards something stable, you know, and committed. I mean, I've got queen of cups here. So this person does feel um, emotional about you, cancer. You could be dealing with another water sign, um, but they're not feeling very successful. <laughs> six of wands um why is this why is this justice card page of wands something may need to be you know repaired or made right between the two of you it's also possible cancer that you know um there are issues to do with like legal matters marriage divorce etc and that could be what's keeping things stuck either on your end or their end or both ends um but page of wands it's like this person does see opportunity here and wants to take things in a new direction but maybe they're waiting on you to make the move or because they're sort of blind to where you're at or how this would eventuate they're kind of holding back i mean three of swords energy can be third party energy it's not for all of you guys so please don't get triggered if that doesn't resonate or you don't know about it then don't take that but it can be that there's been separation or heartache because stagnancy and inability to move forward due to like maybe stuff to do with third parties okay marriage divorce something like that sometimes it can be other third parties guys it could be other people interfering or getting in the way but you know something here seems to be needed it seems that something needs to be balanced out between the two of you with that justice card libra energy um yeah let me have a look at this person sorry how you're feeling about this person cancer how's cancer feeling about this person three of pentacles okay so maybe you are hoping and king of cups so cancer seems like maybe um there's a lot of emotion between you and this person um i just saw the nine of swords maybe though there's a lot of anxiety um let me have a look how does cancer feel about this person now as we move and i just saw the ten of pentacles in the upright and the justice card so cancer maybe you um haven't sort of let go of the idea that this is a person you'd like to build with but again with that justice card like something needs to be made right or balanced out or like i said there could be stuff that needs to be wrapped up like legally or Let's have a look page of swords okay six of pentacles in the reverse three of swords in the reverse so cancer you seem to want to get past some pain with this person or come out of separation um page of swords there's an analysis energy so i mean this person doesn't seem to know where you're at cancer um on the other hand page of swords can tell me it's like that fact gathering or spying spying energy maybe you feel they do that to you somehow um or maybe you're kind of checking this person out wanting to know where they're at six of pentacles in the reverse um there is an energy of things haven't been balanced between the two of you so maybe you felt like this person was um not giving as much or maybe you're feeling a little bit like it was the other way around i don't know cancer i mean i'm not judging or naming names but the three of swords here is in the reverse so um this is about wanting to get past separation or pain but you've got the star card in the reverse so part of you's lost hope in this situation and then we've got four of pentacles in the reverse so maybe you are trying to let go of this person on the other hand they are on your mind cancer so again this doesn't have to be for everyone guys so please if it's not then don't worry about it we've got page of swords in the upright nine of pentacles is in the reverse there could be issues here cancer um between you and this person around being available or single maybe this person doesn't know if that's where you're at right or vice versa or there's something here about that with that 9 of pentacles in the reverse and i did say 10 of cups in the reverse justice card it could be that you know family is playing into it like children um there's also this sense cancer of like with the 10 of cups in the reverse that maybe you feel like 
there's no hope of having this happily ever after with this person for some reason. Um, strength card, you both have strength card and the nine of cups. So you do see this person as someone that you have a lot of fun with or you've had a lot of fun with um, and it's a sense of a wish. On the other hand, Cancer, you could be feeling like um, there's a selfishness here because that six of pentacles in the reverse um, and nine of cups, like maybe you feel like this has been, you know, this person has behaved selfishly or has been indulgent in some way or that could have been you, Cancer. Maybe this has been more fun. Maybe you're not feeling like this could turn into Ten of Cups because Nine of Cups is one thing, but Ten of Cups would be the house, the dog, etc. cetera. Um, you're trying to let it go, Cancer. I don't know, but, you know, <laughs> let's see what this star card in the reverse um, is clarified by. So we've got the Nine of Swords. So it is stressing you out, Cancer. Something here is giving you anxiety about this situation. Why is that? Two of Wands, you just don't know the direction forward. You don't have a plan or you feel like this person hasn't really made a move um, or there's been indecision with that Two of Wands. And then Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So Cancer, you're not sure that this would lead to something stable or committed. For some of you, Cancer, I mean, you could be going through some kind of a a breakdown of another situation because Ten of Cups is in the reverse here. So maybe you are um, in the process of, you know, you were building a Ten of Cups with someone and it hasn't worked out because we did have the Three of Swords on both ends. So there could be like, this could be a multi-party situation. I don't know. Um, Devil card. Okay, so you're trying to let go Cancer, but on, on the other hand, it's very hard to let go. I mean, Devil card can be a bit of obsessions or um, a lot of desire here. It can also be fear. So maybe you sense that there's been some fears that have blocked this connection or maybe you sort of fearful to move towards them because you're feeling like you don't have the courage to do so for whatever reason. I mean, you both have strength card cancer. So this is kind of ego meets ego. So I don't know, maybe there's sort of a mutual withholding from one another. I mean, what's led to this three of swords on both sides? Let's have a look. The Four of Wands. So there's issues here to do with commitment. So I feel like this is a person yet that you didn't have any kind of a commitment with. Maybe it was more like a, or it has been more like a Nine of Cups, like a bit of, you know, enjoyment, fulfillment. I mean, the Knight of Wands in the reverse on this side, how this person feels about you. Knight of Wands can be a bit of that kind of passion, but stop, start. Um, so, you know, there's been issues here to do with commitment, maybe because someone has been in a commitment or both of you, right? Um, four of Wands, like marriage could be in the mix, right? So we've got the Five of Cups in the reverse. So you are trying to get past it, Cancer, with the Five of Cups in the reverse. On the other hand, we've got Eight of Cups in the reverse. Maybe you're still hoping that this person will return. <laughs> I don't know, Cancer's like the unfinished business or maybe there is a sense that this person makes you happy but there seems to be a loss of hope in this situation, maybe because you're both holding back or because there's external factors and a stuckness. I'm going to get some oracles on this. Um, did I say the signs? We've got Capricorn Energy, Aquarius again with the star card. Um, you're still stuck on this person, Cancer. I don't know. So... But maybe there's a bit of fear here, maybe because other things have fallen apart or there's you're still tied to something or you feel that this person's still tied to something. I don't know. Um, let me have a look with the mystic black rose. So what is this person feeling towards cancer? Children. So again, there could be children in the mix or immaturity, <laughs> it said, last. So there's a lot of sexual energy between you and this person, cancer. Um, bottled up though deception, not opening up, keeping things inside. So there's been maybe a lot of withholding. You do have the four of pentacles here, but it's in the reverse. So maybe there's been that energy of sort of um, like you're trying to let this go, but maybe also there's a bit of this um, feeling like someone was really holding out on the other person. Maybe it was both of you. Um, side piece, mistress, <laughs> the other woman, secret hookup. I'm telling you, Cancer, it just feels to me like this could be a situation that's involving like multi-parties or um, anyway, let's see. Yeah, finality. So someone is, it, we've got the witchcraft card, negativity, and then divorce, breakup, not looking back. So either, and then we've got forbidden love affair. So there's just something here, Cancer, maybe to do, like the devil card is about temptation. So 
either you, this person, or both of you, there may have been some stuff around commitment. Maybe there was third party commitment. So again, this isn't for everyone, guys, but I'm just getting that um, there's something here about, you know, with the negativity card, it could also be that there was sort of a lot of negative reactions with one another. I did say with that temperance card in the reverse, maybe there was um, some kind of a conflict or a tension between you and them. Um, or there's some negative third party influences, um, but there could be a lot of this feeling of heartache between you because um, of the way that things played out. And so maybe you're both sort of holding out on one another because you're holding on to that. I don't know, because we've got revenge, retaliation, plotting. I mean, for some of you, there could be just some really unhealthy third party um, energy that's holding on very tightly, um, or that could be the fear and moving ahead because of, you know, if someone's going through a divorce and things have been really dark or really heavy, that could be like a factor as well, right? Yeah, proposal, commitment, offer, and then we've got denial, contradicting. So Cancer, that's like that two of swords. It's like indecision, like commit or don't commit. Maybe because there's another commitment in the mix, guys, because I've got justice card, legal matters. I said it, divorce. Um, but then I've got obsession. So everything that I've said, guys, does come out. And I'm sorry, um, I'm actually like not, <laughs> I'm not maybe expressing myself that well today. Um, I've not slept very much, but this says obsession, can't let go, anxiety, clinging. So there is this sort of holding on. I, I feel like I said to you, I think you're holding on cancer. I think this person's also holding on. And then I've got dark shadow facing inner truth. Something needs to be healed between you and, and this person, Cancer, but also I think something's been very triggering here and it might be the fact that there's been indecision or other energies that have played into this and, and that's triggered something, that's triggered some pain. Like there's separation and there's also been maybe um, a bit of this, you know, um, whatever's happened between the two of you, like, you know, this person could feel like you weren't choosing them or vice versa. It's something like that dark shadow facing inner truth and then the direction forward. So this person, I mean, it feels like this person still is, you know, somewhere between it's over and committing, wanting, wanting to make an offer or wanting you to make an offer to move ahead. But it looks like things need to be tied up here. Justice card, divorce, I don't know. Um, and then they're still wondering about the direction forward. So maybe they're hoping to have that conversation or reconnect. Now, again, guys, I'm only reading like the current energy. So if you wanted to re-script this or manifest it differently, you know, you can manifest anything. You can manifest a conversation. You can manifest, you can manifest away third parties. You can do all of that. Um, this is still a tarot channel, but maybe you can have a look at some of the coaches online. We've got Soulmate. Twin flame, soul contract, soul connection. So it seems to be that there is a strong connection here between you and this person. Then I've got addiction, toxic attachment, obsession. So obsessions playing into this is also possible cancer that there is some, there are some toxic attachments. Maybe you feel like this person's a toxic attachment. I don't know, but I'm really picking up like third party energy as well. So maybe um, the fact of the matter is cancer that the strength card and the strength card you and this person are struggling to move ahead because there's some outside energies like there's a lack of courage to move forward because of some toxic um, attachments that are still around or it could be that you know this could be um, ego fears right so like where if you're dealing with a person that had past toxic relationships there could be a lot of projection and a lot of fear um, in this situation um but i am picking up for a lot of you someone here has um something that they haven't wrapped up okay we've got travel distance far apart getaway i did say that um with the full card in the reverse it's possible that things have not been able to move ahead because there's something here to do with distance and maybe timing has played into that as well like the time wasn't right because you might be separated by distance. Um, the full card in the reverse is also, you know, how's this person feeling about you, Cancer? They may feel like there's a sense of risk involved in moving ahead, especially if there has been third party energy between the two of you. Let's have a look. Intuition though. I said that guys at the beginning, this person does feel like there's an intuitive bond between the two of you. It says gut feeling, psychic premonition, sixth sense. So they're feeling very connected to you, even though there's silence, healing. 
I did say there's something here that needs to be healed between you and I think separately. It says wounds, mending progress. And then I've got change, regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, cycles. And then I've got soulmate again. Then there's toxic relationship, codependent, misunderstanding, trigger. So there's something that could have been triggered between the two of you. And there's something that might have been playing in the background, like, like toxic relationships um, that was impacting on this current situation. Do you feel me, Cancer? Um, so I don't know if there's going to be communication at this point. The Eight of Wands in the reverse tells me that maybe nobody's making a move. Two of Swords. It's stuck. But again, guys, anything can change. This is one reading. It looks like you're both kind of holding out on one another. So <laughs> if you want to change the script, you're welcome to make new decisions about what you're going to affirm for what's going to happen. Um, all right, guys. I hope that's helpful and that it resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.